Hey, so this is the procedure for doing a transmission fluid flush on a W202, and this car in particular is a 1998 C230. Um, the process or the setup is to disconnect this lower, the return line for the automatic transmission fluid, and then we attach a hose to the uh, output at the radiator, um, and then put a hose clamp over it, just a clear section of tubing like this. Um, and then you have my dad's in the car. You basically have him start the engine and uh, two quarts of fluid you take out at a time and then you refill uh, two quarts here. And then what you wanna do is compare periodically the quality of the fluid coming out with what's going in. So on the right is the initial ATF that came out when we first started this procedure and uh, after a few gallons of flushing, hopefully it'll look more similar to the container on the left. So this is just to illustrate the velocity that the C230 pumps transmission fluid. Go, Dad! And you can see that it's just flying out of here. And you do two quarts at a time. So it's almost there. Stop! And that's it. You can stop. This is just a quick video update. Um, this is three gallons of fluid flushed, and it's still quite dark. Um, and maybe it's a slight improvement over uh, what we had pri previously at the start, but um, I've only got five gallons to do this with, so hopefully it starts getting uh, brighter. So we're underway in this ATF flush process. I always like to keep the filler covered uh, when I'm not actually pouring fluid into it, just so that uh, nothing can drop in. Um, again, that's after three gallons, and we've done four gallons now, and you can look at the fluid in the tube, and it's actually looking really good, which is a great sign, because I was worried that we wouldn't get bright clean ATF after five gallons, because um, I only have five gallons. If your hose is about, I'm guessing that this is about four feet long, maybe five feet, then it'll be enough length for it to loop from the exit of um, the radiator up, and then you could just tuck it in here, um, and that's into the coolant return line, and that's just a perfect um, distance and it, it just makes it really convenient for the process. So this is after flushing five gallons of um, clean new ATF through the system. On the left is brand new ATF and on the right is the what the ATF that's coming out of the car right now looks like. And I know it doesn't look like beautifully bright like the stuff on the left, but it's actually quite clean by comparison to how, with what we started. Um, the stuff that was initially coming out was really dark. So after five gallons, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, after maybe 10,000 miles, I might do another flush, just because this system hasn't been flushed in so many years, obviously. Um, and then it'll get to, from initial drain to really bright fluid very quickly. Um, that's what we did on our E320. Uh, so there you have it. Lastly, I add um, this, it's not quite a quart, 24 ounces of this. It says a perfect preventative maintenance product. And the reason why I like to add this, especially to older transmissions, it doesn't necessarily need it, but uh, I live in the mountains and this adds a bit of viscosity to the ATF. So I do this in all of our cars and all of our cars are old um, and awesome. <laughs> and uh, anyhow, I've had great, success with it um, and it just seems to um, do what it says and I think it protects the transmission. This is the ATF that I use. Um, it is uh, full synthetic and it's also uh, high mileage and what that means is that it definitely conditions the seals and does a good job with that. Um, also it has like bazillion approvals so we use this in our classic Volvos as well as our Mercedes. We've got two Volvos and two Mercedes all of which every car has over 200,000 miles. This is another just a good view uh, comparison view of the two fluids after five gallons of flushing. Um, you could see the fluid on the right is 
the test brand new fluid and the fluid on the left is what um, is coming out of the engine after five gallons have been flushed through it. One last quick video before I take this line off. I just wanted to show this um, because it's uh, a great contrast, the color of the fluid in the line now versus what you saw at the very first video. Also, um, some people have spent a lot of time like trying to figure out how to do a, fu a fluid flush from this banjo bolt up top. And it's just silly because um, that's so much more complicated and these flange type connections down at the bottom are totally bomb proof and super easy to connect and disconnect. I do recommend using something like this, a six sided um, closed or like just a slotted end um, open end. Um, that way you're getting the most grip and you have virtually no chance of damaging that puzzle. So the last piece of the puzzle is uh, this uh, dipstick and checking your uh, ATF fuel level. Basically you just get the engine warm. Um, one silly mistake that a lot of people make is they get this dipstick and they're like, oh my gosh, it's too long, it doesn't work. Um, but that's not how this one works. Uh, you basically insert this until you feel it bottom out on the uh, ATF down. And just gently, uh, just until it touches, the tip touches it, and then you read your level and it has an 80C level and a 25C level. Um, and you don't want to overfill, and that's it.